Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and I'm extremely excited to be here today. In this video, I'm showing you how to set up a Bitcoin Diamond wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain name, so I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. Go to your browser, and you're going to want to search coinmarketcap.com. And we're going to scroll down this list until we find Bitcoin Diamond. And I see it right here. Go ahead and click this. It redirects us to more data about Bitcoin Diamond, including their website here. So you're going to go ahead and click this website. And this is the website for Bitcoin Diamond. The website is BTCD. Dot io. And if you're going to search it yourself, just make sure you triple check that it's connected to a HTTPS website and verify that it's secure by making sure it has a green padlock right here. And it does saying it's secure. So this is a good website. And another way to find the website is to go to their Twitter profile. You could find their Twitter profile back on CoinMarketCap under Bitcoin Diamond. Another piece of data that they share here is the social profile. So if I click that, it will direct me to here, which is the Twitter name for Bitcoin Diamond. So I'll go ahead and click that. And this is the Twitter for Bitcoin Diamond. As you can see here, they have 19, almost 20,000 followers and the link that they promote in the description is the btcd.io website. So this is the actual website. I'm going to exit out of this along with this Twitter profile and I don't need coinmarketcap.com anymore. So there you go. This is what the website looks like. The second step is to choose the correct wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. On their website right here, on the top right, it says download. You're going to want to go ahead and click that. And it directs you to their downloads for Windows, Mac, and Linux. There's two options to choose from, the Qt wallet and the Electrum wallet. In this video, I'm specifically going to use the QT wallet. The reason why I'm using the QT wallet is because the Bitcoin Diamond QT wallet is the main wallet used by the community and is developed by the main developers for Bitcoin Diamond. I can't confirm if this is the official wallet for Bitcoin Diamond. However, I do know this is the main wallet. Okay, so we're going to move on to download the wallet now. At this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you because you could be using Windows or a Linux. However, for this video, I am using a Mac OS, so I will be choosing that. Choose the appropriate download for you and continue following along with me in the video. I'm going to go ahead and click the Mac OS QT wallet right here. And if you look at the bottom left side of my screen, it's starting to download and it's saying it's gonna take about a minute for me. So you could go ahead and pause the video now and continue playing it once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great, so it officially downloaded and we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. So I'll show you how I do that. The download here, I'm gonna go ahead and click it and it's gonna start opening the file. It's asking me to drag this application into my applications folder. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and try opening it by double clicking on it. And it's saying here, Bitcoin Diamond can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And I'm gonna show you how I work around that. So the way around that is to go to your finder and then go to your applications and then find Bitcoin Diamond inside that folder and you're going to want to right click it and then click open. 
it's saying the same message. Are you sure you want to open it? However, it gives us the option to click open now. And this is what it looks like. It's saying it's going to download and store a copy of the Bitcoin blockchain, which takes about 172 gigabytes of data. They're saying that there's two options, the default and custom option. In this video, we're going to go ahead and choose the default option and click OK. And it's starting to pop up right here. So here it is. It uploaded. And what it's saying here on the screen is that it's going to take some time to sync up with the network and you do want to wait for it to fully sync before using it. However, in this video, I'm just going to continue forward and click hide. And this is what the Bitcoin Diamond wallet looks like. It's a pretty basic wallet and there's a send button where you could put in the Bitcoin Diamond address here. You could put a label, the amount that you want to send and then click send here on the bottom left. And then there's a receive option here where you could put a label, the amount you want to request, and then you could even put a message and request a payment here. And there's even a transactions tab that shows all the transactions from this wallet. And on the overview page here, it tells you your balance and recent transactions. In this video, I am not sharing with you how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it. And there's one more step that I wanted to show you, which is step number five, and that's to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm gonna drag my screen to the top left here. As you can see on the top left, it says Bitcoin Diamond. I'm gonna go ahead and click Quit Bitcoin Diamond and it's starting to shut down now. The way you want to confirm that it quit is by going to your finder and as you can see on the finder on the left side it shows you the applications that are connected to this device and what I'm gonna do here is press this eject button right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click this. So by doing that I know it's officially removed and not connected to my computer to reopen it, you're going to want to go to Finder, go to your applications, and then click on Bitcoin Diamond. And you're going to want to right click on it and then click open. And it's starting to upload again. And here it is. Like before, it was saying that it was still syncing with the network and it's still doing that right now. I could go ahead and click hide and voila. This is the Bitcoin Diamond wallet, downloaded and installed. So congratulations on doing that. That actually concludes my video. If you like these types of blockchain tutorials, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. And that's spelled D-E-N-N-I. You could look at the display address right here and take a screenshot if needed or check out the description below. You could also find me on Twitter. You could find me at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a Bitcoin diamond wallet. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day.